in tropical and subtropical areas of North America, South America, and the Caribbean, lives an unusual bioluminescent insect that only shines its bright lights in the darkness of nighttime. These expectation-defying creatures, while they might look like it, are not fireflies, and those shining eye spots, while they might look like it, are not eyes at all. Today, we are exploring a marsh habitat in South Florida at nighttime and search for one of these incredible insects. Chances are, we'll see the shining green eye spots of our target before seeing the rest of it. So let's learn all about the headlight beetle. All right, children, I can actually see the green shining eye spots of one of these click beetles in that bush right there, and I'm gonna try it and grab it. It's right on a branch, so I should be able to pick it up. Ah, yes! Got it! This right here is one of these beautiful headlight click beetles. Now the lighting here is absolutely terrible. So let's move it to a much better spot and let's learn all about these incredible beetles. All right, children, this is exactly what we set out here to look for. This is a headlight click beetle. This species is called Ignolator havanensis. Called that because this species is common not only in South Florida where we are right now, but also in Cuba. That's right, this is a tropical species of beetle that extends its range up into South Florida. Basically everything about these headlight click beetles, from their appearance to their biology, is super strange. So let's learn about what in my opinion is one of South Florida's most unique beetle species. Ignolator havaniensis is a member of the family known as click beetles. And don't let those lights fool you, this is not a firefly. Click beetles are a separate family, the Alateridae, from the firefly family. Although fireflies are beetles as well, these bioluminescent or light producing spots are convergent evolution with the fireflies, which means that even though fireflies and click beetles are not very closely related at all, and their common ancestor most definitely didn't have these bright lights, both fireflies and headlight click beetles both separately evolved this similar trait due to a similar niche in these ecosystems. Though, unlike on fireflies, where the spot that bioluminesces would be at the end of the abdomen. On a headlight click beetle are two bioluminescent eye spots on the thorax out of all places. A lot of people when they see these will assume that those are the eyes. Those are not the eyes. These spots on the thorax are actually there to distract predators. From a distance, this looks like the eye shine of like a spider or some other small predatory animal. Now I might be wondering, why are these called click beetles? Well, it's actually because of that sound that they make when they move their head and thorax back and forth at a really fast speed. It actually makes an audible clicking noise. But that isn't just some random thing that they do. That actually has a purpose. Now a lot of beetles, because their elytra, or those armored wing caps, are super heavy, can get stuck on their back and not be able to put themselves back up again. But these click beetles have a way to combat this. That mechanism that they have to thrust their thorax and head forward and backwards at really high speeds, making that clicking noise, can help them get off of their back, regain their footing, and be able to fly off from a predator before a predator can eat this while in the vulnerable state of being on its back. Real quick, let's just put that to the test and see how this clicking mechanism works. We've moved to where the ground is a bit more of a hard surface. What I'm actually gonna do is put this click beetle on its back and see exactly how that clicking mechanism works. Let's put this to the test. Oh, oh, that was so cool. Look how when this beetle is put on its back, it almost instantaneously pops up and regains its footing. Even looking at this at quarter speed, the movement still looks instantaneous. But with a close up look at this click beetle's thorax under the macro lens, we can see exactly what is going on. On the bottom of the thorax, there is a posteriorly facing spine you might be able to see called the prosternal process. This spine locks into a groove lower down on the thorax called the mesosternal cavity. When the click beetle tilts its head back, the spine builds up loads of potential energy from being held back by the groove until finally the spine snaps back at a super fast speed, thrusting the rest of the beetle backwards with it. Now after I caught this one and was walking to this much better lit spot to film this, I actually noticed a lot more of their bioluminescent eye spots filling up the trees. For whatever reason here in this marshy area, these are super common. 
though marshy habitats are not the only places you can find these. In fact, these are also a pretty common occurrence in urban areas and will often come to lights near your house if you live in South Florida or the Caribbean. The larvae of click beetles, which are known as wireworms, live underground, usually underneath logs, where they'll eat decaying plant matter and soil underneath the log. When these things grow into adults though, they still eat plant matter, but focus more on a live plant matter, like drinking flower nectar or eating leaves. But throughout these things' lives, they are almost completely herbivorous. And you can see, unlike a lot of larger beetles, these things don't have huge mandibles and, quite honestly, can't bite at all. <laughs> now this isn't the only species of headlight click beetle that can be found in Florida. However, this is the most common in South Florida and is the only one, as far as I'm aware of, that shines green. A couple of the other species shine whitish or an off kind of yellowish color, but this has these unmistakable, beautiful, bright green eye spots that completely set it apart from basically anything else you could find out here. All right, I hope you enjoyed learning all about this beautiful headlight click beetle with me, but it is time to let this absolutely gorgeous insect go right back close to where we found it. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure to check out this video right here where we find a massive prionid beetle and test out the effects of its bite. Enjoy!